It's a strange fact, but there is no significant Crips presence in the Bay Area. The Crips, after all, are one of the most widespread gangs in America. See walking through neighborhoods in major cities and small towns from San Diego to the Bronx. The story of how this happened is filled with speculation. There is no official record, just gang lore passed from OG to Young Bucks. While some former local gang members have their own analysis, they all tell variations on the same narrative. It all started in South Central Los Angeles in the late 1970s. Born from the ashes of the disintegrating Black Panthers, the Crips were forced by poverty, anger, ambition, and, and a desire to protect the community from police brutality. The gang spread quickly as visiting friends carried the culture back to their own cities and original members relocated to initiate branches elsewhere. The Crips made a move to San Francisco in the early 80s, a small group of them setting up shop in Bayview Hunters Point. The recruitment pitch was simple. We're here to take over, join our growing drug empire and make some money. It had worked in Bakersfield, Fresno and Sacramento, but San Francisco wasn't having it. They were all repping their blue and showing off these dances. We thought all that bullshit was silly, says Gino Frazier, a former Richmond gang member with ties to Bayview Hunters Point, who heard the tale of the older friends. To the young hustlers, the Crips were trying to recruit. The gang's tradition seemed unnecessary distraction from the main goal, profit. Worse, the Crips were trying to be new middlemen between dealer and supplier. San Francisco, see, we're all about making money. Oakland too, Oakland get money, Oakland been getting money, says Rudy Corpus, a former Soma gang member who runs the youth group United Players. And the Crip guys were trying to get a cut of that. With their modest contingent, the Crips displaced the locals at a Bayview housing project drug market. But the hustlers who got kicked out of their land came back strong. They underestimated how fierce some of those San Francisco and Bay Area cats, especially up in Oakland, could be says Corpus. Some say that neighboring San Francisco sets joined forces with the displaced group. Some say the displaced group fought on its own. Either way, there was a shootout at the housing projects and the Crips were driven out. They haven't returned since, and the Bloods haven't even tried. In prison yards and mess halls, aging Southern California Crips still reminisce about the gang's failed attempt to take San Francisco, notes Frazier, who spent four years in a federal prison for a drug charge. Some of those Crips respect the Bay Area inmates a little more for it. Some resent it. That's what makes the Bay Area so unique, says Frazier. We're the one place in all of California that doesn't have Crips or Bloods. We just stay getting money. 